You know, the first sign that you're gonna have to leave your neighborhood is when vintage clothing shops show up. <laughs> then the housing value's gonna go up and then they're all gonna get the push. In the greater Toronto area of the last 30 years, housing prices have increased by 425%. Then we start asking, who's gonna live in cities? Who are cities for? If they wanna raise the rent up to like $900 each, if it goes to 3400 then I have to make at least $100,000 a year. I've seen the whole area change. They start buying up properties because it's a fantastic investment for them. When I hear people today saying it's gentrification, one reaction, an ironic reaction is, if only. It's much deeper than that. Owning the house is only a means to making money. New owners have taken over. We haven't met them, we haven't seen them, we don't know anything about them. It could be Frosty the Snowman for all I know. <laughs> I heard one of the councils said, if you can't live in Notting Hill, then you shouldn't be in Notting Hill. Who the fuck is he to say something like that? I can stand in the middle of the street and no traffic coming. Paradisi fiscali sono il luogo dove il capitalismo legale si incontra. Gold is not a human right, housing is. We need to reclaim the fundamental right to housing.